Hello there, in this video I am going to teach you how to generate app icons and logos using Midjourney AI. First of all, you are going to head over to a channel or your direct messages with the Midjourney AI itself and then just type slash imagine. After that you are going to phrase your prompt with something like this. You have to include the word logo or icon and then type in your prompt for example what you want the app to be so in this case we are keeping and we are going to select version 4 for it Just wait for it to generate your icon. After it's done generating, we can see the type of results that it generated. Now, if you want the border of the app, you're going to have to include the words like logo slash icon or else it's just going to give you a full image without the borders. So, in this case, we like the second image. We're just going to generate more versions of it. And here it generated us more versions of the second image that we just selected. If you like any of these, you can again upscale them and download them. But since we don't, we're going to generate more versions of the first image and also the fourth image. Now we can see that it generated some unique and cool app icons which we can use for our own. I'm not sure if you can just directly paste these onto your app, but as I'm unaware of the majority terms, you can look into that too. But you can certainly take inspiration from these towards developing your own icons. Now, if you're struggling to generate the interface of the app, Midjourney can also help you with that. I'll show you here. And now generated us some interfaces for the app which we can use as inspiration. You can also try this for different apps. We can change that up here. But we're going to use V5 for this. We are using V5 for this one, so it can turn out different than these. We used V4 in the last one as it's used to generating more artistic results. Meanwhile, V5 generates more realistic results. Over here, it gave us an issue while generating the app, so we can either just try again. But we can use V4 because I think that was the issue. It gave us an error, but I'm not sure if that's the issue with our prompt or maybe it's just an issue with Midjourney in general. Of course, you can try to generate icons of different apps and you can rephrase the prompts a little, but you have to include the logo slash icon part of it. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.